Hello, my name is Elaine Shao, and I'm a GI fellow at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. I worked with my mentor, Dr. Nali, on this patient information poster looking at the damage to the liver with fatty liver and whether or not this is reversible. So first of all, what is fatty liver? We have this umbrella term called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is basically all fatty liver that's not accompanied by significant alcohol use. And underneath that, we have non-alcoholic fatty liver, which is fatty liver without injury to the liver cells. Then we have non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, which is fatty liver with injury and inflammation to the liver cells. This eventually causes cell death and inflammation, which can lead to scarring or fibrosis over time. And finally, we have NASH cirrhosis, which is fatty liver leading to the most advanced level of scarring. This can form nodules in the liver and disrupt liver structure. What is important to note is that all of the stages up until cirrhosis are reversible if we act early. Once someone develops cirrhosis, this is no longer reversible. Patients with NASH, as well as cirrhosis, are also at increased risk for developing liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma. Once that has developed, that is also no longer reversible. Once we have reached uh, decompensated cirrhosis or liver failure or liver cancer, these patients can have high mortality or death rates. And the ultimate cure is really liver transplant. If patients do not receive transplant, then eventually cirrhosis will lead to death. And so you may be wondering, how do I change this? How do I reverse fatty liver? And so fatty liver is often driven by patients' lifestyles. And so the main treatment for it is changing diet and exercise. Studies have shown that with weight loss, you can decrease liver fat inflammation and scarring. For most people, the goal is to lose about 10% of your body weight per year. And there's also a goal of exercising over 200 minutes per week. If you have other uh, medical conditions like diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, treating those may also increase, improve fatty liver as well. And so the important key is fatty liver is reversible, but yes, we need to act on it early and make changes to it early. Thank you.